Another particularly disabling aspect of the Parkinsonian gait, especially in advanced stages, is freezing of gait. Freezing of gait is defined as the inability to take effective steps. It is a major source of disability for Parkinson's patients, not only greatly decreasing their mobility, but also getting them into danger as this can provoke uh, falls. Patients describe the feeling of their feet being stuck to the floor. Uh, another particularly challenging part of freezing of gait is that it is unpredictable and dynamic. Uh, it's actually notorious that a patient who is greatly disabled by freezing at home will come into the examiner's office and have more normal or only mildly Parkinsonian gait without any freezing episodes. There are several things that can provoke freezing of gait though. Uh, perhaps the most common is start hesitation or difficulty initiating their gait. So when the, the, pa when the patient stands up to first starting, their feet are immediately stuck to the floor. Perhaps the next most common uh, for a uh, trigger of freezing of gait is making turns. Uh, in a more milder gait dysfunction, this can be described as turning on block, where the patient has to take several more steps to make that turn instead of just pivoting on one foot and changing direction. But with true freezing of gait, when attempting to make a turn, a patient will freeze in place. Um, in fact, any form of stimuli, whether it be auditory or visual, can provoke freezing episodes. It is thought that this is because any stimulus can draw attention away from the person's gait and then provoke a freezing episode. Here we see a patient off his medications who has significant difficulty walking through the tight space of a doorway. In fact, the examiner here is probably adding an extra stimulus that makes it more difficult for him to walk. He also demonstrates some destination freezing. On his medications, he has no difficulty at all walking through the doorway. This second patient has an atypical Parkinsonism, possibly progressive supranuclear palsy. Here you can see the difficulty in him initiating his gait. This is called start hesitation or gait ignition failure. In the open hallway, he has little, if any, freezing. However, in his turn, you can see the freezing of a gait. Freezing of gait is notoriously difficult to sometimes capture in the open hallways of the doctor's office. Therefore, constructing a maze such as this can sometimes provoke freezing given that it causes more tight and narrow spaces and makes the patient go through many turns. Here, the tight spaces and frequent turns provoke almost continuous freezing of gait.